Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be taking a look at Mozza Racing's newest addition to their racing wheel range. It's the FSR Formula Racing Wheel. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. So this is Mozza's second addition to their Formula style steering wheel range. Their first was the GS GT wheel, which I previously reviewed with the Mozza R9 wheelbase. And if you wanted to see that review, click the card in the corner and I'll also include a link in the description below. So I'll be taking a closer look at this wheel, showing you the features and functionality available with it and customization available via the Mozza Pit House app, together with testing it out to see how it feels racing with it. But before I begin, if you're new to the channel, hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my next release. Inside the box, you get a set of stickers that can be stuck on the wheel to highlight what the different buttons do once you program them. Next is the wheel, which comes in a fabric bag. And finally, there's a small plastic bag containing an Allen key and some 3M stickers. The wheel is a formula style racing wheel with a 280 millimeter diameter and constructed from an aviation grade aluminum alloy back shell. There's an RGB rev indicator at the top. And below that, you get a 4.3 inch HD display, which has a 800 by 480 resolution used to display telemetry data together with 10 mechanical keys which are illuminated, five band knobs, two thumb knobs and two joysticks. The buttons and dials are ergonomically placed so everything's at close reach when driving. The grips are perfectly formed with a good feel to them covered in hand stitched perforated leather. On the back you've got the quick release mechanism with a black collar allowing you to swap wheels in and out in seconds and the dual clutch paddle and shifters made out of three millimeter forged carbon fiber. The top shifters are magnetic providing quick and precise shifting while the bottom shifters are spring loaded which allow you to control the clutch with a nice feel when you press down and it's a comfortable distance away. The wheel has a very high quality feel to it with a premium finish which I'm really quite impressed with. Placing the FSR wheel side by side with the GS GT wheel you can see some of the key differences straight away. The FSR wheel is slightly smaller in size than the GS GT wheel as it's slightly wider in diameter coming in at 300 millimeters and with the addition of the 4.3 inch HD display on the FSR wheel that pushes the dial slightly lower. Then there's the color of the quick release mechanism being different and the grips on the GS GT wheel being covered in Alcantara. Price wise the GS formula wheel is $499 and the FSR wheel is $649. Now coming over to my PC to show what appears in the Mozza Pit House software. This app allows you to customize settings for each of the Mozza devices you have connected. So in my case, for the wheelbase, wheel and pedals, selecting the steering wheel page, you can make changes to the rotation of the wheel, change some of the modes, adjust the RPM colors and adjust the settings on the digital dash. There's 13 different modes available for the dash display together with brightness and unit adjustment. The functionality for the buttons, joysticks and thumb knobs can be set in game and the color on the illuminated buttons can be set by pressing down on the two thumb knobs and pressing the button you want to change the color on. There's also a mobile app available on both Android and Apple allowing you to connect the wheelbase via Bluetooth giving you the same amount of customization which is really quite impressive and so convenient. But as I mentioned in my main review for Mozza one thing I didn't like was that you had to register an account with them, which really shouldn't be required. Now testing out the wheel, the racing experience is really impressive. I'm using the wheel with the R9 wheelbase, which is very quiet as there's no internal fans. The wheel feels amazing with the wheelbase giving a good amount of feedback. The paddle shifters have an excellent feel to them. And I do like the clicky sound coming from them when shifting, giving quite a satisfying feeling when shifting up or down through the gears. Then there's the dual clutch with an excellent feel to them too. The grips are perfectly formed and have a comfortable feel to them, but best to drive with gloves to keep the leather in good condition. But even without gloves, the leather is much more durable than the Alcantara grips on the GS GT wheel. The controls on the wheel are all very easy to reach and there's enough customization on the app to tailor your settings on the buttons and dials. And depending on the game you're playing, you'll be able to use a telemetry display, which is very impressive and the display quality is excellent. Plus the data can be easily customized via the Mozza Pit House app, allowing you to have the info displayed in 13 different formats. Overall, the wheel feels really high quality and performance wise feels awesome. So in summary, the newest addition to Mozza's steering wheel range is really impressive. Positives wise, I do like the leather feel on the grips with the paddle shifters, buttons, knobs and dials being all conveniently placed on the rim. 
The new telemetry display is also a really nice addition. Plus there's a good amount of customization from the Mozza Pithouse software for the wheel to make it just right for you. Negatives wise, this is not a cheap wheel coming in at $649, which is a lot more than the cost of some Fanatec Formula racing wheels. But in this instance, Mozza's wheel does have much more functionality to offer with its built-in telemetry display. But as an alternative, you could buy the CM Racing Dash, which sits above the wheelbase and can be used in conjunction with any of Mozza's wheels. So you've come to the end of another video and I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.